<laughs> one. <laughs> hi, hi. Um, this is April Lisa with Pennies and Dimes. It's an acoustic trio in the Front Range of Colorado. And I am here talking to the amazing Karen Finch, the most amazing guitarist, songwriter, who is going to tell you about her upcoming show, Pearl. So listen up. <laughs> hi. Hi, April Lisa. Thanks for that lovely introduction. <laughs> um, so we, it's called Purely Pearl, and it's a Janis Joplin tribute. It's January 24th at Bootstrap Brewery in Longmont, Colorado, and it's from 6 to 9 o'clock. There's no cover. Tips are gratefully accepted. And um, yeah, come down. It's going to have that whole 60s um, Fillmore East, you know, the Fillmore West vibe to it and everything. So it should be lots of fun. Fantastic. And uh, look for the buckets because that's where the uh, tips are going to go into. And there may be people passing them around. So keep an eye out for those. And wow, you have an amazing background as a singer in this area. And um, I just wanted to know more about that. When did you start singing and playing guitar? Um, well, I, I, ever since I was a little kid, all I ever wanted to do was be an entertainer. Wasn't really encouraged, but you know, I think I picked up my first guitar. I was probably, my brothers both played in bands and stuff and I, I was probably about seven and then I did a little bit of singing with my sister, you know, doing folk songs just around the house and stuff. Yeah. Um, then, you know, I, I didn't do much with it till a little older. I was a little older and out of the house. I mean, I played in the house because the guitars were there, but yeah. I didn't do anything like as far as, um, getting out and about with other people yeah I was out, out, older you yeah know? and then you had this connection because this this pearl concert about janice joplin's music what was your connection with her wow well you know um her story a lot of times you know it totally paralleled what i felt in my life you know the rejection and not having many friends and you know and feeling just um like i didn't belong somehow and stuff i mean i i and so i emulated you know i really got into her music and it, it seemed like she was singing my heart a lot so many times you know um and just the way she just it was raw and it was just there and you could feel it you know um, and that just, it resonated with me a lot, especially as a teenager and stuff, when I was trying to learn, you know, singing and stuff like that, teaching myself to sing. Fantastic. And you're, you have a wonderful band that's backing you up too, and you're going to start, um, the show with some sixties music and yeah, there'll be of, um, uh, some, there'll be the doors. Um, the Jefferson Airplane, Creedence Clearwater, and even a Trog song. And the band is fabulous. It's um, Diane Zimmerman on lead guitar, um, Roland Turbo on, on the keyboards, John Hernandez on bass, and Steve Lopes on drums. So, and they're all just really excellent musicians. I love working with these guys. Yeah, and I think they respect you and they love you. And um, in speaking to one of the band members recently, he said, you know, we, we couldn't do this unless we had our Janice, our Janice to sing. <laughs> and that would be you. <laughs> yeah. So, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, we, we have had a longer conversations about this. I'm going to keep this just as an introduction today and we can follow up with some longer conversations later. So um, I just want you to reiterate when the show is and how people can get there and what to expect. Why is, why is Janice still relevant? Um, you know, I, so many people that I've talked to when I tell them that they, they just like loved Janice. And um, so I think it is, it's this universal thing about, um, and the fact that she really, her emotions were there and she sang what people were feeling. And people still feel those 
you know, those are universal feelings of pain and, um, you know, sadness and blues, you know, everybody gets the blues sometime. <laughs> um, and so I think that's why she still resonates, you know, and just the whole, her whole style of just being up there and being, um, right there, you know, and you could feel it. So, yeah, and the, and our generations as well as younger generations, we encur I'm really encouraging people to bring people of younger generations to hear more of this music. I think it'll resonate a lot with this gener this new generation, and sure. um, it's also really authentic music in terms of uh, authentic raw feelings and no BS and lots of passion. <laughs> and fun to dance. You can dance. There's be lots of dancing. <laughs> lots of dancing. Uh, it's a, it's a fun show and I hope everybody comes out. Um, again, it's at the Bootstrap Brewery in Longmont on January 24th. That's a Friday night from six to nine. Fantastic. Thanks. This is um, April Lisa signing off from Pennies and Dimes and there may be more follow-up videos that go more in depth about Janice coming up soon. So um, watch the space where um, we'll be uh, watching Miss Karen Finch talk about the show. Uh-oh, look out. Here she comes. Say something. Um. <laughs> That's the look. That's the look. I encourage everyone to bring their colored glasses and their boas. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching and uh, we'll catch you later. Bye-bye.